Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your weekly reading of the 30th of March till the 6th of April. I lost it there. <laughs> I can't get out of my words today, 2020. And if you're new, welcome to the channel and um, uh, please hit that subscribe button and the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live. And of course, you can find the information below the uh, video uh, of the email address and uh, the website. But you can also go to the website just here in the corner. You'll see a white uh, little circle with an eye in it. And if you click on that, it will take you to the website. And then you can see all the updates, the reviews and the readings on offer. The way, uh, I've really updated it this week, so and this because the, I've been so busy, my excuses. But uh, you know, there's so many good things happening. Woo! We've had a, a I've had a beautiful interview with a real life author of this deck, Jasmine Westwood, and that's also why I, well, I was already using it before I did the interview because I love these cards. And I'm also using um, the uh, Archangel Michael deck and the um, uh, Angel Oracle Feather deck from Michelle Newton. Okay, um, and uh, you can find both these decks uh, back in the reviews. Not, uh, I haven't done Michelle's yet on the website, but I do love these cards. They're my favorite, some of my favorite cards, these. And there's more coming. So uh, watch out and follow us uh, on Wednesdays in the Wednesdays on the vlog, the witches vlog, and also um, I go live on Monday and Friday uh, in English language and Wednesday on in Dutch. Ik ga woensdag live in uh, Nederlands. Okay, so uh, als je hier bent, word dan lid alsjeblieft en uh, druk ook even op de bel. Je kan hier bovenin het hoekje kan je een wit rondje vinden. Als je daarop klikt, dan uh, word je meegenomen naar de website. Daar kan je alle dingen up-to-date zien. En we gaan nu, dit is jullie lezing van de uh, 30ste tot de 6e april. Oké. Okay. Um, and it's very and thank if you that is if you're new, and thank you, my beautiful cyber angels, for coming back and supporting the channel and sharing the videos with family and friends and liking them and giving us the thumbs up. Okay, please keep on doing that. I do uh, appreciate that, and I'm grateful. Your first card is the Ten of Pentacles. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles means an ending uh, to bad times because you're going in a beautiful new time. Ten coins means abundance. It means um, expansion of the family. It means a little bit uh, the same as the Ten of Cups. Expanding the family. Perhaps you're buying a bigger home because th there is a birth coming. The Pentacles also stand for fertility and birth. Perhaps in business or in other projects like a child. Woo, look at her. She's building a big archway, perhaps to a new home. Or you might be receiving an an inheritance, or you might have won the lottery. Well, who wouldn't want would want to win the lottery? It that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we can always stay and daydream. Money isn't everything. Abundance can be love, can be a listening ear, more friends, more work, finally getting that job, getting a promotion, getting recognition. This card really uh, reminds me of some decks of the uh, Eight of Pentacles recognition because they have an archway and somebody is chipping away or the, the Three of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Wands here, and the Eight of Wands means that you are getting news and everything is happening fast. Boom, 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 like arrows flying through the air. This could be cyber news, email, text message or telephone. And you might be traveling. This could be for uh, 
uh, work or for holidays. In the middle of the week we have the 8 again, an 8, so 8 might be significant. That's the house of money and the house of power. Get to stand in your power. This is though she, you see this uh, cobweb in front of her. She's got a blindfold, but she's trying to feel her way forwards. Now, if she was clever enough, she would take that stupid blindfold off and then she could see there would be a cobweb and an opening if she breaks the cobweb and step through it. I think it is absolutely fantastically depicted. It's better and uh, much clearer uh, what the uh, picture means. A picture says a thousand words. In the traditional tarot she's standing in a circle and all the spaces are equal and here you've got a wide space so you can go th forth and move on. Just take that and your hands are free. Your, uh, your blindfold can be taken off. That's why this deck is quite easy to learn for beginners. So if you want to do somebody or give somebody a birthday present, then this is a good deck also because it's so simply explained in the book. Now this book, this card deck is uh, uh, highlighting woman and femininity because of our loving, passion, uh, nurturing side and sensuality and beauty. So. A man has also got a feminine side and it's making more aware, take care of ourselves and also if we need to be more like a man um, then we have to let the masculine side of us come out and be more steadfast and businesslike. Now this is the Hierophant, uh, sorry. <sighs> Uh, sometimes it still does get confusing. This is the high, uh, Hierophant, as I said. The, uh, sometimes it's called the High Priest. And now it is the Priestess. And she's got a child here. Usually you see two priests uh, beneath the Cardinal. So the child is uh, also innocent. So we learn as mothers we teach our children how to pray how to meditate how to behave so that is also wonderfully depicted also um, the hierophant means um, you might seek advice from a professional because you can't see your way forward or you're too much in your head and you need somebody else's advice. It could be a father figure and uh, or an uncle, a father, an uncle, but a mature man. It doesn't have to be family and if it's uh, if it is professional it could be a doctor, it could be a headmaster, it could be a social worker, it could be an advocate, a jurist, a bookkeeper because it's also tax time, tax return time but you might be worried about it and you don't know what to do that's why you might be too much in your head about it because of the uh, crisis that's going on at the moment. We're housebound. But you are protected. Look at the church window in the back. But this, the veil also means you're safe. Uh, you are staying inside. You're perhaps hiding behind the veil. So if you do need to go out, go out, but cover yourself up. On Friday, we have the Page of Pentacles again has to do with something long-term and durability. The page brings you news. You could also meet a Virgo, a Capricorn, um, or a Taurus. Now, the Hierophant um, uh, does represent, or the, uh, the, the, uh, rep, the High Priest does represent Taurus, so that is an Earth sign. So, Earth signs are very prominent. Also, the Fire signs, because you've also got Earth here. Now you've got the Ten of Wands as well, so there might be news that something is coming to an end. 
or that some uh, a new beginning because the ten of wands means that you've had a heavy period and something is coming to an end but where there is an end there is also a new beginning but because you've got the uh, ten of pentacles it could mean that there is an end to you just being an employee you might be getting a promotion to be a manager or a manageress and you've got begin in the in the beginning of the week you also have um, news coming to you so news and news things moving swiftly so um, the last steps are the heaviest but it, it is boom perhaps come all of a sudden everything all at once perhaps you've sown so many seeds because that is in the weekend that they are all coming to fruition now okay seven is also good luck and you've got the six of swords you might be moving home because of a job and you might be crossing water you might be going on holiday but you're definitely leaving difficult times behind rough waters to go to smoother waters like heavy heavy but you're moving on the boat is moving on big happy chances your wish has come true the nine of cups now with each other reading um, I have taken a card and this one springs to me foremost I know I haven't done them yet I'll get back to that in a minute but I'm going to take the eight of swords because it's differently depicted um, in uh, this deck or oh, and the eight of swords that is also um, uh, difficult times because you can't get out of your head man is made to made by his belief and he believes so he is so what you are thinking you will project and you will become so get out of those negative thoughts and start thinking positive the eight of swords means you might be feeling trapped restricted constrained confused powerless limitations obstacles doubt confinement prisoned depressed paralyzed stagnated blocked enslaved and helpless I haven't shown the book but here you can see how um, the you get a little poem you get a color photo you get the meaning of the card then you you can pretend that you've got a querent and you can ask a question then you can give an affirmation and you can give somebody a task to do and that is exactly what I'm going to do with you has an experience from the past made you feel worthless what is keeping you stuck in that belief this week I would like you to choose a belief that has kept you stuck in fear what belief would you like to replace it with so if you uh, you had uh, you are stuck and you fear this what is your fear or uh, what belief would you like to replace it with and what steps will you take to do this this week so that means make a new belief so think where you got stuck in your fear what did you believe then and how would you like to change that fear and that belief to a new be uh, belief so to if you are thinking negative try to think of the negative uh, thought that you constantly get and try to switch it to the positive so that is what I would like you to do this week now there's two more cards Leah and you've got house protection yes we are all housebound unfortunately but your home is your castle 
Archangel Michael and his band of angels stand guard over your home and night day and night and this card also came out in with the reading yesterday so that is quite a strong energy and since you are the king of your uh, of your uh, castle then this is quite apt you're the king and at your home okay the lion is always the king and if you have a question will at will I face at this task then the answer is definitely no because we've got no with an exclamation mark the angels have heard your question and the answer is definitely no so go out there think about it ask advice on how to get positive thinking or uh, write down thoughts seek somebody's advice write down the thoughts and be positive change the negative to the positive okay Leo I hope you have enjoyed this reading and uh, I hope you find uh, some support from this reading and if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign And please share the video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and I'll see you in the life on Friday or on Monday. Take care. Bye bye.